If you're new to the channel and you've just stumbled onto this, what we do here is we play a little clip and then I use energy law to dissect what it is that the person is observing. So this week's clip is going to be Jim Carrey and uh, let's get to it. You are the vanguard of knowledge and consciousness, a new wave in a vast ocean of possibilities. On the other side of that door, there's a world starving for new ideas, new leadership. I've been out there for 30 years. She's a wildcat. <laughs> oh, she'll rub up against your leg and purr until you pick her up and start petting her, and then out of nowhere, she'll swat you in the face. <laughs> it can be rough out there. My father could have been a great comedian, but he didn't believe that that was possible for him. And so he made a conservative choice. Instead, he got a safe job as an accountant. And when I was 12 years old, he was let go from that safe job. And our family had to do whatever we could to survive. I learned many great lessons from my father, not the least of which was that you can fail at what you don't want. So you might as well take a chance on doing what you love. It's not the only thing he taught me, though. You know, I watched the effect of my father's love and humor and how it altered the world around me. And I thought, that's something to do. That's something worth my time. So many of us choose our path out of fear disguised as practicality. What we really want seems impossibly out of reach and ridiculous to expect, so we never dare to ask the universe for it. I'm saying I'm the proof that you can ask the universe for it. When I was about 28, after a decade as a professional comedian, I realized one night in LA that the purpose of my life had always been to free people from concern, just like my dad. My choosing to free people, <clears throat> my choosing to free people from concern got me to the top of a mountain. Look where I am. Look what I get to do. Everywhere I go, this, I'm going to get emotional because when I tap into this, it really is extraordinary to me. I did something that made people present their best selves to me wherever I go. How will you serve the world? What do they need that your talent can provide? That's all you have to figure out. As someone who's done what you're about to go and do, I can tell you from experience, the effect you have on others is the most valuable currency there is. So how this applies to our, our expanded understanding of Ohm's law, the real world's a wildcat and it'll hit you out of nowhere. Increased resistance, you got to expect resistance out of nowhere and it's going to come when you least expect it. And the whole idea too that you can fail at what you don't like, so you might as well pursue something that you love. And then he says at the end, which is all energy law, 100%, all you have to do is figure out what your talent is that people need. He says very clearly, one day he had an awakening and he realized that his job was to free people from concern. Freeing people from concern is for a temporary moment when he is entertaining them, he is reducing their mental resistance. And after all of the struggling and resistance that he had to push through to establish that potential where he had the ability to do this, because remember, if current is constant and resistance increases, potential increases. These are all the years that he struggled from his parents losing everything and them having to do whatever they had to survive. That's all phase two of our Ohm's Wheels of Life model. This is the whole phase where you are honing your craft. This is where he became the master comedian. And then when he reaches the top of the mountain, as he says, he has ascended to the potential constant reality. And in the potential constant reality, if potential is constant and resistance decreases, current increases. What he realized was that his job was to reduce the resistance of the viewer. And the better he got at creating such an elaborate scenario where people's concerns were temporarily lifted, the more current flowed to him. 
amazing, 100% energy law. But what he's also acknowledging is, is that you have to figure out what your talent is and you have to always be overcoming the resistance of something. Your success will be determined based on your ability to reduce the resistance of others. Every job in the entire world is about you taking on the resistance that no one else wants to do. That is what will determine your success. When you are at your job, your job is to do all of the things that the owner of the business doesn't want to do. You are overcoming those resistances. It's good to follow your dreams, but you have to be honest enough with yourself to be able to assess, does the thing I love actually add enough value to everyone around me that I can actually sustain myself through this? If you love basket weaving, and no one wants to buy your baskets, you can pursue what you love all you want. You will not sustain yourself through it. And then that's the difference between a business and a hobby. It's a really great clip. He's covering a lot of ground here. If potential is constant and resistance decreases, current increases. This is phase three of what we call Ohm's Wheels of Life. It is the top of the mountain. It is the point where after you have established your potential, you have increased it to the point where you actually have something to contribute, the amount of resistance you overcome determines the amount of current that will flow to you. But only after you have established your talent and the value of that talent to the community around you. If you'd like to learn more about this expanded understanding of Ohm's Law, visit SeniorThinkTank.ca. There's all kinds of free resources there for you to be able to learn more about it. And uh, we'll see you next week. We look forward to analyzing the next clip.